Hello everybody, I'm a JMT and Chinev, and now I want to play perfect fun the happy birthday sim on the chess orb. Let's go. Okay, how can you hear me? Hello everybody, I'm a great. Alright. I'll type hello. Good luck all. Okay, yep, and congratulations to Perfect Wanda with his birthday. I wish him health, wells, all the best, and always have a smile on the face. Yep. Alright, so Simon starts in two minutes. Hello, Telling Moose. Um, Simon starts in one minute. I will be six, seven games. I'll have random sight. Um, I'll have 10 minutes plus 10, so I'll have 20 minutes on the, um, every board. And um, my opponents will have 10 minutes. So. Yep, so happy birthday <laughs> to perfect fun day to everyone who has his birthday today. Um, okay, so should start very soon. And it starts, I would say, in 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Start. Good luck to everyone. Let's go. Um, against perfect Honda and whites and without increment. So auto switch. Let's have auto switch. Wait, wait. Okay, and these are the whites. It's terms fire and blacks. Good luck. Against Silmus and Whites, also good luck. Against Karmara and Whites, also good luck. And against Smith and 2002 Menace Purse, I'm um, Blacks. Okay. Ah, and Beam Maps, and against Beam Maps, Naughty and Blacks. Okay, Andy. <laughs> Andy Zed, I will play Blacks Lion. I see. Take. Let's play d5 against Turnip Swagger. Take uh, c5, c's, should be 4, take, <laughs> everyone is playing super fast today, <laughs> okay, it's perfect panda, um, c's against b maps naughty here, in cell useless place disease. Yep. It's telling moves. This turnips record this uh, be me up snorty. Maybe I'll take feel take castle Queen B three so double attack E three Black Lion, yep. <laughs> um I personally don't really very familiar with Black Lion, but okay. Okay, here I will play we take C and D5, I guess. Um okay, take and ah, now I guess I understand what Black Lion is. <laughs> okay, D5, um E6. Are Carver thinking I just don't get to play against him? Um Okay, this our karma sink, I have no idea. So I got everyone. No, <laughs> it's my move against karma. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, finally. Do I gain karma? <laughs> okay, rook c1. Um, can I do against the most? Let's play this. Take with a queen here. Be me up, not a bishop on in the middle. It's telling moose. <laughs> yep. Take. Yep. <laughs> now I'm familiar with black lion. I see. Um, H3. E3. 
Take. Um, not very personal, not very happy about position against Talon Moose. Uh, maybe e4 I will play. Let's play bishop e2 against Sandy Zeta. Then bishop e5 against yep, Snotty. Um, bishop e5 against Karmar. Sandy. Uh, Rapapam. Maybe a3. Here I will take, so he tell him also also have deleted pawn. Here I'll get a rook against B maps. Notice that's cool. Um, let's play queen of three. Yes, okay, against perfect pawn down. I'll take. Okay, here knight of six. <laughs> yes, it's like will be 20 or 30 minutes of non-stop for me. Um, I'll go long castling. Here I'll take a queen. Um, Rook c2. Take. Um, Rook e8. This mm -hmm. against Karmar place this against Bimaps. Notice this. <laughs> Get four idea. Three, right, six against perfect pond H three. Mm -hmm. This some traps. <laughs> it's been maps notice this. Turn swagger take. Telling moves. Play this. <laughs> Incendi Zioda. This will play Queen C2 because Knight is 3 says Bishop C4. And the B map is not a. Want to trade rooks? Mm -hmm. This. <coughs> it's perfect. Panda this. Against Karmar. Probably go for a point of Bishop C6. H4. Your bishop be seven. <clears throat> um, 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 um. Mm -hmm. H five idea. V maps not to here. <clears throat> Against Terim Swagger. Um, is it a trap? I feel so. So I'll play bishop a six. Uh huh. Okay. Telling moose is <laughs> not allowing me to do my trap. <laughs> Okay, I'll play G3 then. Stellin moves have quite okay position. Mm -hmm. He is, I feel. King G2. Okay, against Sandy Soda, let's play H5. Charles at Castlin against Manus Purse. Um, okay, nice through H4, let's go! <laughs> Okay, everyone is thinking that's cool. <laughs> okay, against Karmar. Let's see here that I want to take a pawn. <laughs> um, send these knight of five. Should have fake maybe rookie three idea. <clears throat> Seems that I'm quite good on time also. Mm hmm. Play aggressive against Andy. Andy Zero Mzis. Look at E8. Karmar. Uh huh. Mm 
Mm -hmm. I would take. Yeah, I would also take rook d1, queen d2 then. <coughs> Wait, knight 5 No, no, no. Not knight 5 It should be 6, I guess. It's telling moose. Take, take this. Oh, you, you, you. I, want, I want to put a rook here. It's taking a knight. Okay. Rook d1. B map is not even cool. It's perfect. Panda, maybe I'll put my queen to c6. It's karma. Let's take. And send it zero. Mm. Guess I will not place. Snake f5 is cooler. Um. Okay, against B maps, not I'll take. Gains minus purse. Should d6. Uh huh. And send the rook h1 here. I have h6 against Serum Swagger. Um, d4. d4. C6. And e. Come back to g1, I guess. <laughs> mm hmm. Check. Bishop f3. Uh huh. Here can be something because I guess he'll not have best bond structure. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll take. Mm hmm. Okay, and he goes for that. I'll take his bishop. Pre moves. <laughs> um, it's telling moves. Maybe I'll put my rook here. Against Sandy, I guess I'll trade. Um, against. Minus bishop f8. Here, ed8, Serum Swagger take. Here, c2, rook d2 idea. This, it's perfect panda. Mm -hmm. Then I g2. Uh huh. I'm not sure if Andy's Andy is going for cool, for good for, <laughs> for good position for him. Okay. So you have this. I don't have queen d1, queen g4. Let's see. In Serum Swagger, I guess it'll come back. Um, a6 looks cool that I trapped. Um, and first knight. Yep. Seems likely. Maybe knight to here. Let's try this. Skarmaran plays this on c6 tanks. Yeah, against perfect pond. I forgot about that. <laughs> nice. Nice trap. Um, queen e4. Here, queen d1. Uh, rook d2, rook d1. Okay, a bit of a rest. <laughs> no more let, no more rest. <laughs> Take. Um, against turnip swagger. Um, Maybe bishop c8 after knight c5. I don't know. Okay, thanks for the knight. And send the theoda. Take. Turn up swagger. Yeah, bishop to c8. Okay, here I'm winning against b maps naughty. Against ND, I'm also winning, but still not made soon, I guess. Um, okay, knight c5. Okay, against turn up swagger. a5. And send these your um Ooh, Bishop D5 is too check now. Oof, oof, oof. Okay, Queen E5. Okay, and I want the game B maps. Not a good game. I want one game. Let's go. Take. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Let's see. This 96 idea. Seems cool against telling telling moose also. In Sandy, I guess I'll play Bishop G5. Um, against Perfect Panda. Uh huh, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Rook G7, Queen E8. Okay, against Perfect Panda. Would like to trade in Bishop D2 there. Um, against Andy, I guess I'll trade everything. 
It's perfect plan. There should be two. So I'll try to castle as fast as I can. Um, can I take here? No, it's it's not good for me. I can't take. Will it be good for me? Let's see. He has king g8. I'm not sure. I wasn't sure, but I'll try that. Um, okay. This turnip swagger. I see. So if I take this, cool, cool point. Should be five, and we should have five maybe. Um, against minus first, we should be six against Sandy Zioda. Um, yes, massive treats. Starting a G4. Um, A3. It's perfect panda against Karmar. Let's see. Yes, maybe Rook C1 is easy move. Oof, a bit of a rest. <laughs> Turnip Swagger. Here we should have five. Is it a blunder? Or no? Yes, I'll take. So, okay, and Manus Burst. Trade is better for me. Okay, take. And then Deem. See, I'm a Ponex. <laughs> A4. It's Manus Burst. Let's put Knight over here. Oh, thank you. Perfect Panda, thanks. Here F4 against Andy. Um against Karmar uh, should I take with Rook or with Knight? Take with Knight, Rook B6, Knight E7. Um here. Maybe I will play should be eight. It's Andy. Knight E2 here, I guess is fine. Against Turnip Swagger. Um This okay against Sandiel advance my king against Karma I'll take and take an f5 against Manus Burst b6 seems fine to me. <gasps> okay, here I have queen h6. You have to play king j8 and there I have knight g5 and there is some play, but here I'm winning. Nice. Um, against Sandy, I guess I have to protect so king e3. Okay, here against Jerim Swagger. Would like to spend my time. Probably I'll play bishop d4. Um, okay, against and he gave a check, I'll go king d4. Against perfect plan, I'll just take the rook. Um, against minus burst, thanks for a second knight. It's Andy, yep, Andy. But knight is trapped now. <laughs> okay, take. Um, against Stellin Moose. Okay, you have time, I can sink a bit. Okay, see, maybe not a bit. <laughs> okay, there, there I'm winning. Okay, check. It's Andy, his knight is trapped, so I'll advance with g4. It's minus person take. Telling moves here, I guess queen of 8, queen h7, knight f8. It has to go here, queen g, queen f4. I feel I'm winning after this. Let's. Let's see. Um, king of seven against Karmar. I'll take King e six. Um, and yes, I'll take and King c five. Like this here, King f six against Manus Purse. Here I can play Knight c six and win the rook. I guess. Yeah, I guess I'll go for that. H six. So Truffle Lexis. It's Karmar a three. Check knight seven thread. Um telling moves here knight of seven and a half. And okay, thank you for the queen perfect panda. Um Yes I'll take so like position of the I feel that I'll be pawn up there. Let's see. This um, should it take with the pawn here? Here, yeah. I guess so. Okay, here I'll just take rook and relax. Um, 
Made seven. Deek. Deek. Made a four. Ah, I don't know. I'm not 95. I don't know. In Stellian Moose. Soldiers play rookie seven. It's perfect. Pandem. Okay, I'll just take. Ah, okay. I have g5, so I don't have to be worried. You can g5 here. Uh, bishop seven. Mm hmm. Knight d3. Okay. Bishop d6. <laughs> yeah, card mercy is that he cannot take. Okay, f5. Um. It's ND take. It's minus purse. I also take against NDL. Check him. It's perfect. Pond is this. B5. You can just do this. I could have taken. Um, yeah, here I have my pawn. <laughs> no problem. Too, way too many pawns. So it sounds a problem if I hang one. It's perfect. Panda. Mm. Maybe let's play an eight up for eight h five. This instant rip swagger I'll take. Uh oh, should be seven I feel is cool for me. Eighty two. B six. Uh, take. Take. Against Karmar, um, he don't really say that I should chop. So I'll play rook c seven. Against men's burst take against Terim Swagger. I got a pawn, so slowly, slowly, I should realize it. Probably play a4, so my pawn is not in danger. Um, against NDC's. Is Telling Moose made his move or no? A bit worried about my time against him. Uh huh. Let's see, maybe <laughs> maybe that was not the best move. Against Turnip Swagger, um Yikes. Okay, three, c4. Yep, um, not enjoying my position. Queen b2, c3. Okay, take. Did Telling Moose make his move? I hit it, so maybe let's go to Telling Moose game because <laughs> it's a bit trappy. <laughs> okay, c2 against Karmar. This C1 tell you so I'll take it's minus purse. I'll check this turnip swagger. Okay, mm hmm. Can do this. Um. I don't know. Um. Hmm. 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 Yes, I'll take. Against minus person mate second win. Good game. Mm hmm. In turnip swagger here, I plan to play <coughs> rookie four against Telimus f four. Um, this is turnip swagger against perfect pond. I'll just take against turnip swagger. Um, sure, I have a feeling I'm playing king seven and f5. Um, okay, you can just tell me, tell him so he'll play <coughs> g5 because I don't really want to spend my time looking for a mate. Here I can go with my king. Um, I can just play king h2. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. This B eight, uh huh. <clears throat> oh, I'm not sure how can I really say 
realize my pawning in Jennifer's Swagger though. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Second place is in G5. Mm -hmm. Check. Uh, okay, he plays H4. Maybe I can run with my king. <laughs> yeah, let's try. Against Karmar. Take. Turn him swagger here at 5. Okay. I don't want to trade my knight again. Uh, my bishop on your bed knight. Um. Okay, here I'll take. <laughs> Stop it! I don't want to trade. You're very not good knight on my very good bishop. Ah. <laughs> um. Yes, I can play rook h. It's perfect pawn to take. It's karma. Um. I guess I can play g3. And it's perfect pawn to this. Scar moral take. Perfect pandel. Oh, made him good game. Against turnip swagger, I'll fork him and get his rook. Okay. And Stellan Musa won good game. Send his Yoda. Okay, he's pre moving. Um, okay, against send his Yoda. I also won good game. So now game against Turnip Swagger. Ah, okay, only against Karma left. All right, and I won all games. Thanks all for the games. Karma was the uh, last one. Thanks all for the games. Yep, against Turnip Swagger, it was actually the toughest one. Thank you all for the games. <laughs> oh no, my pawns, yeah. Um, let's see. Let's analyze all the games. Let's start from maybe game against BMF Snotty because it finished first, if I remember correctly, then minus purse, right? Then it was I don't remember. Karma was last, Turnip Swagger was one until Yes, Turnip Swagger, yeah, good game, actually, pretty good game. I was in the trouble what I could have do. But okay, I was slightly better, like maybe not the whole game, but okay. Okay, the game against Beam Maps not it was 16 hectares, zero mistake, two blunders, 44. Average 10 tip loss for him, and 3 hectares on mistake, zero blunders, 16. Average 10 tip for me. E4, yeah. Here, Knight of 3 is the uh, main move. So, and here it's perfectly fine position. But then he played something weird, yeah. He don't have the best pawn structure. And yeah, so something like this. C6, next c was D6. And then when he took, uh, okay, bishop G2 was the best. B takes C, mistake, bishop D takes C. Bishop G2, D5, in next c bishop A6. Yeah, bishop A6. Um, and maybe I'm better. Yeah, I'm, I'm slightly better, but I'm not sure if I'm very better. A3 is blunder, but so C takes D. Yep, and then he put at my bishop here. Yeah, to play rook A2. And here we just traded here. He and his rook. And after this, I was completely winning. There was just maybe some realization problems. Uh, but I won at the end. Um, King of 1 in X, C, A4. Okay, did some inaccuracies. Okay, rook dd2 was the best, but okay, h5, g4 was the best move, so he can run with his king after king h2, which still does not save game, but here, rook d1, mate, and I want game b, me up. It's not a good game. Here I have to take with d pawn, and that's all. And here I guess he need to play... Wait, f3, I don't remember, actually. Already. <laughs> um, no, not this for sure. Ah, I played bishop g2, he said it's a bad move. Okay, let's see. Yep, good game, BMF. It's not a good game. Let's see against Turnip Swagger. Uh, why is game not enlightened for me? <laughs> Saying special catch, yep. <laughs> I just turned off and I was wondering why it's just. <laughs> yep, good game. 
Okay, perfect on the happy birthday again. Against Turnip Swagger. Okay, yeah, that was here I had an advantage. I needed to play rook a c8 instead of bishop e4. Alright, I guess second game what ended up was against Manus Purse. Yeah, perfect. Uh, okay, I remember the last three games. Again, Sandy Soda, it was fifth, ready to over six against Turnip Swagger, and Karma is last. So let's make it this. So I guess actually pun perfect panda played a bit longer against him. Okay, yep, then against... Um, okay, I only analyzed one game and I cannot analyze more. Um, can somebody analyze the game against Man of Spurs, please? And uh, tell in moves and, uh, and that's all. I oh, know I analyzed two games. Um, if someone have time, please analyze the games. Because I cannot. Who will be my hero? Okay, thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Alright. Yeah, against uh, Turnip Swagger, it was toughest game. Because it was drawn position. He just uh, landed a fork to play rugby 5 and it's drawn. Yeah, I didn't play my best, but I didn't really had a big chance. I once, twice had the chance, but not the biggest. Against Manus Purse, it was three inaccuracies, three mistakes, zero blunders, 37 average and points for him. And uh, two inaccuracies, on mistakes, zero blunders, 20 average and points for me. Yeah, what can I say about opening? Opening was cool. It was cool. And knight of six was a mistake with knight c6. Okay, so he played opening quite okay. Didn't get the, didn't get very bad position. But here, when he made Alonso castle in, it was a bad move. And I had to play b5, so he immediately attack. And if he, for example, takes, and there's d4 or a6 d4. Oh no, queen b7 even. All right, so he has to play rook h1, b4 this. Okay, um, maybe five mistakes since 94. Here I put it my bishop, and then a4 was the best. In th then rook d1, and here he just, uh, his knight just got trapped, and I took the knight, and the rest, um, okay, then he also blundered his uh, second knight, and the rest was just a realization part. So g6 in x, Sibison's bishop g3. And yeah, just took his pawns and managed to win this game. This and here mate and I want you a man whose purse was made in 2002. He's from Argentina and uh, B maps not here. I'll check where are he from. Okay, here knight B knight E4 and then a4 yep so let's see so manus is from was made in 2002 he's from argentina and bmaps not yet. okay i don't know where he's from all right so let's see against smith in 2002 or manus burst i analyzed against selling moose i was better and 86 was a blunder because king jade and it's drawn position here yikes <laughs> okay Let's see. In the game against El Moose, it was two inaccuracies, zero mistake on banner, 20 average centibounds on him, and three inaccuracies, mistake two banners. Oh no! Two inaccuracies, zero mistake on banner, 20 average centibounds on me, and three inaccuracies, mistake two banners, 39 average centibounds on him. Um, yeah. Um, I can say Talon Moose played them until like move number 33. He played very good. Yeah, I don't know. I guess against him, I should play a bit more aggressive than this exchange slav. <laughs> yeah. Mm, because uh, here it was drawn, he had to play g6 instead of rook c7, but still, um, it didn't really, I mean, didn't really change anything. So rook cd7 in x on skin g7, and g3 in x on b3, and here we just got drawn position, I had to play b3, even though I sacrificed a pawn, I have nothing, <laughs> it's even worse position, so never mind. Um, I had to play king g2, it says uh, rook 5 to e2 or king g2. Um, okay, king g2, then it was drawn. Only here he played knight b6, that's a blunder here to play e5. Here we say this was knight d7. And here I had to play queen c3, so what is the threat? 
I mean, it's not plus three, yes, it says, right? Not plus four. Ah, it's red, queen, e1, but not plus four at all. Okay, here I have to go knight d3 and steal. But after king h8, he had to go king g8. Mm, and here is drawn rook endgame. I mean, it's still he still has to do it. But after king h8, knight g5, it says, was also cool. But I decided to play maximum, maximum aggressive and... Here, I submitted his king. I could have checkmate earlier on, but <laughs> I decided not to spend time thinking how. I just decided, okay, I'll stalemate his king. And <laughs> it's impossible to do anything in here. Oh, I forgot, is it queen e7? Yes, it is. And here, king g8. Alright, three games have been analyzed. Let's check the game against Perfect Wanda. It was 0 in X, 26, 0 blunders, 10 number 8, 10 pounds for me. And 4 in X, 26, 1 blunder, 46, 7 or 8, 10 pounds for him. So he played bishop g4, that's an inaccuracy. Yeah, because he actually hanged his pawn on b7, so it's a double attack. And it's much better to protect f7 pawn than b7. So he, of course, decided to protect f7 pawn. a5 is inaccuracy. I was a bit of scared, I don't know, of what I was scared. I thought he can trap. Yeah, bishop b4 was the idea. And bishop e4. Bishop b4, bishop e4, my queen might get trapped, etc. Queen 6 mistake, I had to go knight g2. And then I put my queen somewhere like b5, and then I'm perfectly fine. Mm. But here, I uh, mistake, yeah? Here, rook g8 is a mistake, because here I have this. And now, you have to take. I take. My d is castle, then rook g1, still I'm better, but still he has some chances. But he just played king of eight, take, take, and then he blundered bishop, then he had his rook, then he had his queen, and then, then I checkmated him uh, right here. Good game, you played very well, quite well, only seen as we said, rook g8 was a mistake. Uh, I forgot, is it? No, I forgot. I mean... We know it says it's equal. I would not like to play with uh, black at all. With black, yeah. King of eight, wait. Yeah, so I put, you put my rook away in here. Don't really remember what was correct, but I guess some bishop retreat. Oh, bishop c3, wait. Yeah, bishop c3. Alright, good game. Now let's go into a game against Andy Zoda. Uh, Alright, then it will be against Sterling Swagger and against Karmar. <sighs> yep, yeah, let's go. Again, Sandy is dead. It was 3 inaccuracies, 3 mistakes, 3 blunders, 28 average, 20 pounds for me. And 4 inaccuracies, 4 mistakes, 3 blunders, 22 average, 20 pounds for him. Okay, here it was Black Lion. Um, D6 inaccuracies, based on E6. 97 inaccuracies, based on C5. Yeah, okay. In the opening, so I don't feel. Okay, here I had to play Knight F3. Um, okay, but here I guess I just went on his. Um, Mm, opening preparation, so <laughs> I didn't get advantage. Um, H4 and XC I had to take. And here I'm better slightly. G4 is a mistake, I had to go rook D1. And knight A to D7 next week. Uh, he had to take. And here knight h4, I knew that I know that I was sacrificing pawn on h5. I'm not sure why he didn't take. Maybe knight f5, yeah? Yep. Um, but okay, here to play bishop c5. Mm, I play knight d5, so I'll take his bishop. And I'm better here, slightly. Mm, okay, this this. Knight h5, mistake, this is bishop f5. Here to take. Here I'm plus one, but still he's holdable. And rook h1 blunder, I had to play queen a4. What is a threat? Queen e7. Yep. And if, for example, he plays this and d 5 I'm completely winning. So, king d8, he made uh, this blunder here to go king f8. Even after bishop h6, I'm better. I'm not sure why it's a blunder, though. King f8 is a bit better than king d8. Yeah, so, weird. Um, rook h6 blunder I had to take. And then what's like in the game? Yes, in queen d1, queen d4. And here I'll take at some point and win the game. I see, yeah, queen d1. And rook f8, mistake here to take. 
And here, computer says I'm just slightly better, but that's not enough for me. And bishop g4 is a blunder. I had to play queen d1 and then bishop g4. Okay. And here, he had to go knight d6. I calculated that. I felt that I'm much better here. <laughs> but computer didn't think so. Don't think so. Like queen e5 or queen c6. Wait. Uh, bishop g5. Some crazy variations. This, this. Maybe queen e5. Okay, king's here. Rook d6. This. Take, take, take. King d7. Weird. Weird. <laughs> but I'm better. But okay, knight d6 is a mistake. He had to play queen d7. Mm, here I'm better, but still. And then um, I just found it a forced win to go to the end game. And here I had 2x. Yeah, only two extra pawns, but still, oh, uh, that was completely winning because I have three past pawns and my one pawn hold at least two pawns, so, yep. And here, Maiden, I won the game and he saw them. That was also kind of a tough way, a game. So, yes, against Karma, it was, I played the longest, but I got cool position, like, from the opening, so... Uh, I didn't really have any mistakes, so I was fine. Uh, but against Andy Zoda and Turnip Swagger, I cannot say I had a big mistake that I could have lose. But against Turnip Swagger, I was not win like all game. He won just at the end. But against Andy Zoda, that was very long game. So I guess longest game of the same, right? Yeah. Um. Yep. Uh, so now it's the last game against Turnip Swagger. It was two inaccuracies, two mistakes, two blunders, 43 average, 10 balls for him, and seven inaccuracies, two mistakes, zero blunders, and 25 average, 10 balls for me. Let's see. C5 is inaccuracy, but since Bishop E7. This Bishop E7, yeah, uh, I guess I could have played better opening because um, here I just got like slightly worse position. It's kind of drawish, so. I turn up swagger kind of correctly got the opening. H3 semi mistake because bishop d4 to blockade, but here Stockfish says I had to go for d4, which I was very surprised. Okay, like rook d1, c5, bishop f4. Oh, that's interesting. Like bishop f4, rook c8, and I'm better. And if you take, then I take, and then those two hangs. So if you go for that here, to bishop c5, I'm better. So yeah. Um, yep, so d4 and 10 better. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Okay, rook f1 next, Shibison's rook fd1, and bishop c5 in next, Shibison's rook b8. Bishop e5 in next, Shibison's c takes b, and knight b3 blunder, business rook d1. Yep. And here it's fine. And here I thought I can take a pawn, and I did take it, but I had to go for rook c8 and bishop c3. And for example, he plays rook d1, and then, then I take, take, and then I take with the rook, queen d3, and bishop e1. And now this pawn is weak, and he has to go for this. And after rook c8, I have like rook e2, and I'm better. I see. a4 is inaccuracy. Yep, yeah, here I just lost all my advantage, so rook b3, yeah, he just had to take. And here it was the drone position. I thought, uh, I was just thinking that I'll play, no, I, I didn't consider those two. I thought I'll this, play this, this, and <laughs> somehow try to win drone position. Yeah, queen c2 in x, there was some queen a1. Mm, to make a check and an e3. I see, and then how did I even take pawn though? Queen b2? Does he really need to take? This rook d8, something weird, okay. But okay, this, this, rook b4, here I'm plus one, but still very tough to win. Then it was a drone position, and then in time trouble he made a blunder of take c, he just had to give a check, mm, then he'll win a pawn or just force a draw like this. And after a four he gave up and I wanted to turn him swagger. Good game. Um, yep, it was one of the toughest game of the simul, so good game. Uh, -ra -pam. I forgot. <laughs> okay, rook e1. Here, just take rook e4. E and here, just play rook b5. And if I play queen king d4, then you have king f4. And you're not worse at all. And in the 
Longest game against Karmar. It was 3 inaccuracies from 1 mistake, 0 blunders, 30 average, 10 balance from me, and 7 inaccuracies, 2 mistakes from blunder, 50 average, 10 balance from him. So he, he made a mistake, Bishop of 5, he had to play knight c6. Ah! Ah! Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. I just had to play this. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> and then it's a basic blunder, and so what is my threat actually? It is to play like knight e3 and then something like that and the bishop c7 but he has to play e5 stalker says this at least take bishop b4 i'm after knight 3 i'm up a pawn so yeah okay uh, to play queen b3 and queen b6 the next is 97 and bishop b7 is a mistake because 95 yeah why knight h5 was the best so you put my bishop my very good bishop from the very good spot and knight e5 this this here I already was better because I found this what knight a4 with this with knight b6 threat. So if you play rook b8, then f knight c6, take and million threats. And if you yeah, bishop d8 you had to play, rook fc1 and some kind of c5, not b5, or b5, and still a lot of play. But okay, after b5, rook c7 is and next c had to play rook b8. Yep, here I saw knight g6. I won't lie. But I didn't feel that here I'm fine because I just did see rook fc1 or just bishop d6 and skewer. So, yeah, here I'm better, much better. I just didn't see skewer bishop d6. Mm, rook b6 is an extra here to play bishop a3. <laughs> so, somehow to make my pawn structure at least a bit worse. Yeah, because here. Now he just, I guess, karma just blundered a pawn before you see next to so rook a8. Because, I, ah, I could have t played this. Ah, that's a clever point. Rook a6, then I take and b5, and I'm perfectly fine. But if I play rook b7, seems like I can take. So something, I don't know what I can take, but never mind. But I have very good bishop d6 move. And then I take with on a b4. And I'm already winning because I don't have these double pawns. So, yep. And I just have was already blundered here to play rook e8. And he's kind of fine here. I mean, he's worse, but not the, not like in the game. Because in the game, it was h6 is the negative since this. And here, I just decided to get a file. But of course, I could have played ow, and bishop f6, and I'm perfectly fine. This, this, this. And I see if I fist. Last inaccuracy of the game here to play g5. But I'm winning here, so he cannot take because I take and then rook d5. So mm, he cannot do this. Uh, b takes c, take this, this, king g2, rook c1, this, this, rook d7. Here, Karma's time run out, but I was completely win position. So good game. Uh, let's learn from the mistakes. Um, here I had to play bishop c7. I'll try to remember this. Here, Karmar had to play, I forgot, not bishop b4, because of queen b4, of course, but knight h5, I remember, so to put my bishop from bad position, and uh, here, no, I don't remember correct, here, uh, what's the rook e8, I'm not sure, yes, so, mm, no, um, yeah, all right. So good games to everyone. Again, happy birthday to Perfect Panda. I wish him all the best. Always have a smile on the face. The face else, well, and yeah, the best. And I, I wish that all your dreams come true. So today I played against Smith in two thousand two. It's Madness Percy from Argentina. Then I played against Telen Musi from USA. Then I played against Me Up Snotty. It's Big Me Up Snotty. He's from I'm, I don't know. Then against Perfect Panda. He's from Norway. Then against Andy Soda. He's from England. If I remember, I guess. And then against Karma. He's from Germany. And against Tony Swagger. He's from Netherlands. So. Thanks all for the games. Yep, that was a cool stream, I guess. And um, yep, I guess I'll finish the stream. Thanks all for the games. So, no, wait, let's see. I played one, two, three games with blacks and four games with white. Okay. Yeah, I did random sites. Yes, I know that guys that give a simul should 
should play always with white, but I mean, <laughs> it's a, I didn't feel that it was the biggest problem, the color. So, I guess he'll end up stream. And congrats to Perfect Panda for his birthday. And 26 followers, thank you very, very much, actually. Actually, yeah, thank you. National Master subscribed. So late, uh, no, earlier today, uh, Altai Safali subscribed yeah, from Azerbaijan. So, yeah, thank you. All right, so for today, I will finish stream. Thank you all for following on chess on, your, on YouTube, on Twitch, and as usual, click the like button and subscribe to me. Please comment on this video and please share chess. And also, please share my Discord, please, description, link in the description. Yep, yeah. and again, <laughs> happy birthday to Perfect Panda. Yep, yeah. bye bye, Paka Paka. See you soon. See you tomorrow. The same fun, you know, say cool.